What's up nail friends? Today I'm going to show you guys how I did the super pretty emerald green glitter set with some little stars inside and a 3D rose. So let's get started. So my client came in with her last set and I filed her set already down all the way. I have applied primer and dehydrator and put a clear layer of acrylic down. I couldn't get all the color off, but that's okay because I'm going to be covering it up with some darker colors anyway. So the color I'm coming in with right now is called Liquid Gunmetal from Glitter Bells. And the brush I'm using is my Glitter Bells number 10. So I'm applying this on half the nail because these are long. So I start at the bottom half of the nail first and then I'm gonna apply a bigger bead of the same color at the cuticle area. So this set, my client didn't really know what she wanted. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. She came in, I usually just asked her what color she felt like and she actually really wanted to use my glitter which is called Sarah, which is the emerald green in this video. So that's my glitter from Glitter Bells. My favorite color is green. So she wanted to use that one and she basically just lets me do whatever I want. So I took that color and I picked a few other colors to go with it and then this set I just winged. So I started with her middle finger and I came up with the design like kind of on the spot. So what I'm doing here is I applied the full liquid gun metal from cuticle to tip and then now I let that dry just a couple seconds. Not, not so dry that it's like completely dry but it's definitely not wet so that I don't wipe it off while I try to straighten the line here. So this is kind of like when people are doing those line cutouts, but instead I did the color first and then put the green on top. I thought this would be a faster way to do that. So I just applied the Sarah color on top of that liquid gunmetal. So the pre-mixed glitter is already mixed with clear acrylic, so you just have to go right in with monomer and pick them up. Then right away I'm coming in with these adorable stars. Aren't they so cute? So I got these from Magpie Beauty USA and I will link that down below. So they're just stars, they're not mixed with anything. So if you use gel or acrylic or dip or anything, these are loose and you can use them with any system. So I've just applied those on top and that's how that nail looks. So I'm gonna apply some striping tape on that in a bit. So in this nail, to make this easier, I would recommend using something like bean green and apply it down first, something with a finer glitter first and then going in with the chunky glitter just because it's a little bit harder to place down chunky glitter and get it to get full coverage and a nice cuticle area. But I really wanted to just layer my glitter Sarah up. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna work on this. So I placed the Sarah glitter down and then I'm just moving it around with my brush and I'm gonna have to apply a little bit more here. So I just picked up more of that Sarah glitter with my brush and, and then I'm just kind of moving the product around trying to cover up the old yellow that was left behind. So you can see here like how much more work it is to try to apply this to do full coverage because I didn't apply that fine color down before. So. I definitely recommend applying a fine glitter down when you're going to do kind of a chunky glitter on top. Something with the same color, you know? So once I got that down, I just spend a little bit of time patting it into place, trying to get it nice and even. Now I'm moving on to the pinky here. So now I'm coming in with that liquid gunmetal color again. The liquid colors from the Glitter Bells Colored Acrylic Collection are super pigmented, so you only need a really thin layer. So they're great for covering up old colors. So now I'm coming in with the Glitter Bells Moon Shadow Premix Glitter. This one's so pretty. And I'm just layering this kind of on top of that liquid gunmetal and then kind of pulling it up. And then I'm coming in at the cuticle area with my Sarah Glitter as well. And I'm using the tip of my brush to just gently pull some of that glitter down into that Moon Shadow. I just do light strokes just to kind of pull just a little bit of the glitter down. So after I've got that down, I'm picking up more of those Beth stars. They're so pretty. I love the iridescent shine of them. They kind of like go emerald green and almost like a royal dark blue, depending on how the light hits them. So it's really pretty. So after I've got those down and flat, I'm moving on to the pointer finger, which I did basically exactly the same as the pinky, but opposite. So I'll start at the cuticle area with liquid gunmetal, and then in the middle we'll have moon shadow, and then the tip will be Sarah. So 
So the thumb, I did exactly the same as the middle finger here with the stripe down the center. And now I'm coming in and encapsulating all these nails. So I'm just gonna show you guys on the middle finger here. I just picked up a big bead of Glitter Bells glass slippers. And then I'm just using that to encapsulate, starting at the cuticle area, pulling it down the nail, and really just trying to make this really even with a nice apex. So I went ahead and I did file this off camera because I decided it would probably be too long. So the magic of YouTube, here is how it looks after it's been finished filed. <laughs> so now I've put her figure on this little stand. You can get these stands on like Amazon or eBay. And I'm just using that to rest her finger down so I can apply some striping tape. You can just get seriously striping tape anywhere, Amazon, eBay, whatever. And I am place it down, I wear my gloves, I don't touch the back of the tape at all. Place it down, make sure it's nice and straight, and then I'm just using some scissors to cut off the extra pieces. So after that, to keep this in place, I've found that Luminary Nail Systems Clarity is perfect for that because it's a soft gel, but it's super strong. So I just apply a thin layer of that over top of the striping tape and it'll last the whole time until I see her at her next appointment. So she went and cured that. And then I did go ahead and top coat just those two nails because I didn't want to accidentally get any fluff or anything on top of Clarity while I was finishing the rest of the design. So I really wanted to add a 3D flower just because the set is kind of dark, you know, and it is summer. So I wanted to make it a little bit more summery. So I went ahead and did a flower. So I'm using Glitter Bells Snowdrops White and double dipping with the Glitter Bells Liquid gun model that we used on this set already just to kind of match the colors. And the brush I'm using here is the Get Buff Nails 3D Vill brush. So to do a 3D flower, you just place down a bead. You don't want it to be too wet, but definitely not dry. You'll let your bead kind of go matte before pushing into it. And then you just keep using your brush, pushing into your petal, spreading it out until you get a nice flat petal with some ridges in it. That'll make it look nice and realistic. And I just wipe off my brush a lot to remove the liquid, which will help you move your bead around. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much liquid in your brush. And so for doing flowers, it's basically just trial and error. Just keep practicing your petals until you can layer them properly and you're happy with it. So it's really just practice. So I'm just adding a bead for the center. So I place my bead down and then I'm just using the very point of my brush to kind of push in and spread that petal and you're gonna overlap some of the other petals as well and it'll, you know, look like a flower. And then after that, I add another small bead right in the very center. And you're gonna to wanna to dry off your brush and then kind of swirl the very tip of your brush into that little bead there. And that'll really help make your flower look more realistic. So I obviously had to add some crystals and beads to the set because I think it looks really pretty with flowers. So I'm just applying some Ugly Duckling Stick It. I find that that helps hold those little beads into place. And then I'm just using some random crystals here. Some green ones, black ones, and kind of like a rainbow color that's more yellow. I thought that, that would look really pretty with the glitters that is in this set. So after that, top coated all these nails. I'm using my glitter balls, no wipe top coat. So you're gonna wanna not get top coat on top of your crystals, but you can get them on top of the beads, which will help the beads last and keep their color longer. And you're not gonna wanna top coat your 3D design. I find that it goes inside your ridges and kinda hides the detail, which makes it look 3D. And then it kinda ends up looking like a blob and you don't want that. <laughs> so after I finished top coating all these nails, here's the finished design. So I absolutely love the set. I love the way it turned out. I love green and I feel like the middle finger design was kind of like one of those little hacks, you know, like a little nail hack, easier way to do that. So you can get all Glitter Bells products from our site, nailthrown.com and make sure that you guys join our mailing list on our site for stock updates and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure to click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever I post and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.